Hi guys, and um, welcome to another episode of Jotty's Beer Reviews. Now, uh, today we have Kronbach Pills, no, brewed in Germany and established in Germany. This guy comes in at 4.8% alcohol volume and this is a 6 660ml, which is 660ml. 660 millilitres, as you would say. I have had a few beers before, so don't blame me if I can uh, fuck up. But hey, this is Grumbuck a beer, so let's get this guy cracked the fuck open. Let's smoke in that. Damn. Let me see that, alright. Oh, damn, look at that smoke. There's so much smoke. Whoa, fuck no. Okay, <laughs> let's get this in a glass, guys. Let's get this in a glass. Let's go. I hope the video doesn't cut it because I swear to God, every every single time I'm, phone, I'm, I'm recording on my phone right now, right? And I swear to God, every single time I go to pour the beer in the fucking glass, it fucking goes off. Oh, not enough storage space, but I've cleared my storage space now, so it should be cool. Anyway, right. Let's go, Mary Paul. Okay. Shout out to Simon from Real Craft Beer. Or, oh, well, his YouTube used to be called Real Guide, I'm sure, but his channel now is called Real Craft Beer. And um, he likes this one. I spoke to him in his wife chat about it before, and he said, Yeah, 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 I, I like that one. So, um, yeah. This is for you, Simon, man. Thanks. I really love your channel, man. You've progressed so well, man. Cheers to you. Put the rest of this guy into the glass. You guys can see that, okay? The head has gone mental. Every time I pour a beer, I swear the head is mental. Okay, white head, <laughs> four fucking fingers, um, penis. The penis is very clear, very well carbonated. You can see the bubbles going absolutely mental in that glass. Very clear, almost like a mirror. Look at that, you can see right through the glass. Like, you can see right through that shit. White head, straw appearance, queer appearance, very well carbonated. Bubbles are rising up like a soda pop in a way. Smells hoppy. I mean a hoppy because it's tickled my nose as a smell, it must be really hoppy, that stuff. Hence some bowie. Malt, I think. I'm not really that good in the smell. I'm all about the taste. So cheers, let's dive in. Cheers to everybody watching this, whatever you're drinking, if you're, if you're drinking the same as me, Crombuckers, then cheers to you. If you're drinking something else, then... Let me know in the comments what you guys are drinking. Um, and let me know if you guys want me to review any beers that you love. Just to see me take the piss out of myself. You know. That's better. Still a massive heat on it though. Look at that. You can fucking hell. Right. I'm just going to dive in, guys. Alright. I, I can't. I'm not really that good in this smell. I'll, 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 I'll get there with the aroma, trust me. But. It smells clean. It doesn't smell like, um, let me think of a really potent beer, like Sri Lanka, Ross beer, Mars, and, which is a German beer um, brewed with smoked ham or something. Really nice, um, like top tier beer. But that stuff stinks. Like you, if, you, if, you, if, this was, if this was this Ross beer, Mars and stuff, I would go, oh yeah, you know. But this, not much smell coming off it at all, guys, really, honestly. Okay. Let's go over the taste. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching. Slangeva. Grassy. Oh, so crisp. Mm. Very crisp, refreshing. Um, slightly hoppy. Is it bitter? Not really. It is slightly bitter. It's not like it's quite 
take a wee bit of this week. In the in the back of your in the back of your tongue, you do get this sweet take a wee bit of this. But it's not as if it's weak. Oh, I'm so bitter. Boom. This week, sweet week. Oh, I'm present. Kind of thing. Okay. Sorry for the noise in the TV going back and the back, and that's just my PS4. Very smooth. Very smooth, crisp, refreshing, mm. hoppy, very sweet, way malty. Um, oh, this is very drinkable, guys. Very drinkable. Um, I can see myself, if I was, like, in the garden, very sunny out. I'm sitting in the garden, my top off, sitting there, just chilling with my earphones in. I would be pretty happy drinking this beer while I was doing that. It's that kind of beer, it's that kind of summer beer, it's what... Sunny weather beer. Definitely. Mmm. I have had this before, mind you, but... I've not really, like, took any consideration what it tastes like, smells like, blah blah blah. But, now I do, this week. Mmm, that's a fucking good. <laughs> Pardon. Mm, yeah, that's really nice. That's, that goes down a tree. That goes down a tree. Okay, score time. Out of ten, what do I rate it out of ten? I rate this beer. Let me take another swig. Wait, wait, you fucking can't hit the score. Out of ten, what do I rate this? I'm going to give this an 8.5, guys. So that's basically a standard A, isn't it? I think. 8.5 out of 10, guys. This is, oh, this is golden. I've still got some left in the bottle there, which I'm going to obviously drink after the review. And goddamn well, I enjoy it. So, um, hats off to Kronbacher. And hats off to Germany. You guys know what you're doing with beer. Especially this brewery. That's fucking amazing, man. Um, it's the only Kronbacher I can find. If I find any, like, say, Kronbacher White or Kronbacher mm. Wheat Beer or some, something, some, I, I don't know if there's any other Kronbackers out there. The only Kronbacher I know is Kronbacher Pulse. If there's any other Kronbackers out there, guys, gonna please let me know in the comments. Um, I would happily try them, but see, in Scotland, it's quite hard to get, like, various beers. Like, um, I'm quite, I, I love my macro lagers, I love my American lagers, you know, like Paps Blue Ribbon, I really love that beer. I'm obsessed with it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I love PBR, I love Switch, I love Lone Star, I've tried all three when they were available up in here in Scotland. And I love them all, they're just so amazing, man. Um, in fact, watch out for a Paps Blue Ribbon review coming up soon, because I have ordered some from a site called Beer Sniffles. I've ordered a six pack of PBR and I've ordered a uh, Ross Beer Martin as well. The beer I mentioned earlier on. Because I do want it again and I never tap away review it as well. I was actually just going to drink it, but oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll review it. I'll review it. I'll review it. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This is honestly amazing, right? Cheers to everybody watching. Virtual Clint. Head on down and drink some of it. Fuck it. Cheers, guys. God. Oh, that is so drinkable. And it's not like that kind of beer where you drink it, like, go, 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 and then you go, Ugh. No, this feels fucking amazing, man. That's so crisp and clean, and it's so drinkable. It's like... If Bud White had flavour, <laughs> that's the way I could describe it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. <laughs> this has been fun. Um, I've got a lot about this guy left. I'm going to sit and probably listen to a few tunes and stuff. And aye, but uh, thank you for uh, watching and, and listening. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next um, beer review with me, Jordi K. Okay. Also, check out Night Energy and Slangy Visit Scotland? No, don't. The world's fucking shit. Bye!